Isotretinoin, also known as Roaccutane, is the most powerful treatment we have for acne, but it's not for everyone, and it's not the first step. It's used when other treatments haven't worked, or if you have a severe acne, like a cystic acne that causes scars. Now, there's a lot of fear online about isotretinoin, and sometimes that's justified, but when it's used properly, and with the right patient and under the right supervision, it can be truly life-changing. In this video, we'll cover what isotretinoin is, how it works, and when we use it. We'll look at side effects, and these include dry lips, joint aches, and we'll talk about mental health risks. We'll look at what we do in our clinic to support our patients, what to expect before, during, and after treatment. And if you'd like a more detailed explanation of what acne is and why it happens, well then check out my other video on teenage acne. And no, you don't need to be a teenager to benefit from this treatment. So here's a quick recap. What is acne? Well, acne is one of the most common skin conditions in the world. To give you some perspective, up to 85% of teenagers will experience acne at some point. Around 40 to 50% of adults between the ages of 20 to 40 report some degree of persistent acne. I had it too. Mine only cleared up in my late 30s after major lifestyle changes, but that's another story. Acne affects the hair follicle and the tiny oil gland right beside it. It's strongly linked to hormones, especially during puberty, because the oil glands are incredibly sensitive to the hormonal shifts. Genetics also play a big role. If one or both of your parents had acne, you're more likely to get it too. And modern life doesn't help. Things like diet, stress, poor sleep, and even pollution can make acne worse or keep it hanging around longer than it should. So here's how acne develops, step by step. We get excess oil or sebum production. We get blocked pores, leading to whiteheads and blackheads. Then bacterial overgrowth in the clogged follicle and inflammation causing swelling, redness, and deeper spots. So what is isotretinoin? Well, isotretinoin is a powerful medication derived from vitamin A. It's known by brand names like Roaccutane or Accutane and works by tackling all four causes of acne at worst. It shrinks the oil glands, it unclogs pores, it reduces inflammation and it limits bacterial overgrowth. It's taken as a tablet or capsule, usually for four to six months and most people only need one course and around 90% see a dramatic improvement that often lasts for years. We only consider isotretinoin if you've already tried multiple treatments including topical treatments and oral medications or if you have severe scarring or cystic acne. It's also used in specialist settings for hydratinitis suppurativa, rosacea and folliculitis. Look at common side effects now. So while it's an effective treatment, isotretinoin can come with some side effects, some most commonly and some are rare. Dry lips and dry skin, almost everyone gets this and we'll guide you how to manage that. Muscle or joint aches is more likely in physically active people, so it's important to recover well from training and stay hydrated. Sun sensitivity, this is another big one. Your skin becomes a bit more fragile, so SPF is really essential, More and then more rarely changes to your blood, lipid or cholesterol, and liver function. And that's why we regularly check your bloods. And then there's the mental health, which deserves its own section. So there have been concerns about isotretinoin and its effect on mood, depression and suicidal thoughts. Now here's what we know. A link hasn't been definitely proven between isotretinoin and mental health, but we do know that acne itself causes distress, anxiety and depression. In some people, especially those with a personal or family history of mental health issues, close monitoring is essential. That's why at our clinic, we carry out a thorough mental health check before starting and we continue to monitor your mood during treatment. If you're already feeling low or struggling, that doesn't mean isotretinoin is off the table for you. It means that we need to work closely together to make a shared, supported decision. We've linked to expert guidance from the Royal College of Psychiatrics below, and this is detailed in the description. So what happens at our clinic? Here's what we do at Dr. Finbar's Skin Clinic. We take a detailed history and examine your skin. Together, we make a joint decision about whether isotretinoin is appropriate for you. We guide you through a thorough consent process. We check your bloods, mental health history, and carry out 
pregnancy testing if needed. If treatment goes ahead, we'll continue to monitor you every four weeks. Only doctors with specific prescribing qualifications can write an isotretinoin prescription. So depending on where you live, it's unlikely your regular GP will be able to prescribe it for you. That's why private or specialist clinics like ours often step in to help. So what about after care? What happens after you've finished your Wacatine? Most people only need one course of treatment, but we do recommend starting a topical retinoid around five weeks or so after your course ends to maintain the results and reduce the risk of a relapse. We'll guide you through this process too. You're not on your own once the tablets stop. Now, if you're looking to take control of your acne, whether or not you're starting your journey or already considering treatments like isotretinoin, I'm creating something just for you. It's a doctor-led acne course designed to walk you through the real science behind acne, from lifestyle and diet to prescription options, so you can feel confident in managing your skin long term. It's launching soon, so you can join the waitlist today and be the first to hear about it when it goes live. Just follow the links in the description below. If you're dealing with acne and that isn't responding to treatment and it's affecting your confidence, your mental health or your quality of life, you deserve support and real options. Isotretinoin isn't a cure-all, but when used appropriately, it's the most effective acne treatment that we have. And with the right guidance, it can give you long-term relief, not just from spots, but from the cycle of frustration that comes with them. If you think isotretinoin may might be right for you, talk to your doctor. And if you're not sure yet, watch my deep dive on acne to understand your skin better.